here in central New York and it's really the end of April and I know we do get snow in April. We on average get four inches during the month of April, but this we're over it. Yeah, it, so is my back. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. You're right? good at that though. Oh, well. You know, not good as William Mahar. He power shovels this yes, whole place. He does. He does. Anyway, you're going to need to do this. We've had about two and a half inches of snow on our weather deck. Our parking lot is covered as well as your cars. Now, there's going to be a surface difference where there's definitely more sticking snow on, you know, shrubbery, trees, and lawns, and tables, and decks, and everything versus, let's say, maybe roads. But still, you'll want to be weather aware this morning because, especially where the squalls happen, go to the radar, you'll be able to see where it's snowing hard. In those purpley spots, granted, they're getting less and less frequent. There's still an opportunity for some rough conditions. At this very moment, I'm concerned about this right here. Just went through Auburn, and right now over Owasco, Spafford, just went through Tully, right on that border. And you know, driving up and down 81 and 11, right around Tully and Preble, it can be rough any time during the winter, and I bet you it's pretty hard right there right now. Truxton as well, Derider. We've got some light snow in Syracuse, a few heavier squalls around Cicero along the Lakeshore Road of southern part of Oneida Lake, right in through there, and between Chittenango and Oneida, be aware. We still have some sprays of snow showers and flurries through mid-morning. They get weaker and drop south, so that by late morning, midday, nothing worse than a flurry, and we're likely seeing increasing sunshine through the morning. The sun's out this afternoon with just a few clouds, and while numbers get to the lower 40s, the wind chill's never better than the lower 30s, and it's blustery today. Definitely a wintry day, even as the snow ends. Tonight, it's clear for most of the time. Then clouds thicken. You can see that over the southern tier. By this time tomorrow morning, there should be some light snow over the southern tier. It may actually brush up into Ithaca and Penyan by mid-morning. For Syracuse and central New York, a little sun then clouding over up north tomorrow. That's where the most sun happens. Otherwise, notice some wet snow to the south over the southern tier and southern Finger Lakes. There might even be a coating to an inch early in the morning. By the time this lifts a little further north, it should be some light rain, 40 to 45 for Syracuse. And then we're likely to be scraped with some of this rain on and off through Thursday night and Friday morning. And then it should taper off and move out uh, to the south later Friday. Although if you're watching us like Norwich and Cooperstown and Utica, you're probably going to stay with the rain longer on Friday. Anyway, late afternoon sun brings us to a high of about 50. In our last weathercast, we talked about the weekend. Saturday, good. Sunday, awful, rainy, and maybe some elevation wet snow. Lower 40s back inside.